Okay guys, real quick, when we look at, uh, at the drive leg and we look at the lead leg, um, we look at uh, you know, what, what accelerates our body throughout our drive phase. And a simple thing to remember in terms of like the drive leg and the lead leg is to remember that the drive leg is your gas pedal. Your lead leg is your brake pedal, right? So our drive leg is going to accelerate our bodies into our anchor point, into our lead leg. And then our lead leg is obviously going to serve as the brake pedal and block that energy that we've created from acceleration of the drive leg up to the chain so we can then absorb that with our upper body and our arm action, okay? So again, a lot of breakdowns will occur if we see guys try to influence their acceleration with their lead leg or their lead foot, right? They'll start to really try to get jumpy out there. They'll try to do like a skater jump out there. And what we see when we try to induce acceleration with our lead leg is that that will pull the drive leg and disconnect the drive leg from the ground. It will elevate the hips, elevate the posture of the pelvis. Um, and you'll see a, 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 uh, a lot of uh, occasions the drive leg um, will just collapse. And it's important to know when you're doing screenings of yourself or of your athletes that uh, you need to understand, is it a drive leg collapsing pattern that's occurring? Or is it because the lead leg is dominant in acceleration? Okay, drive leg, gas pedal, lead leg, brake pedal, accelerate with your drive leg. You're gonna be driving, you're gonna induce an acceleration on the mound, you're gonna abide by the gravity, and you're gonna increase your acceleration by continuously sinking your hips, your pelvis, throughout the, the entirety of your drive phase. All right, hopefully that little tidbit made sense and you can apply it. <laughs> All right, cheddar cheese up the uh, glove side, elevated. Ow, first throw, that's not good. We'll get him next time.